Phil here from Wings of Pegasus and welcome to another analysis video. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Recently, we had a look at Ed Sheeran because he's on tour at the moment and people were asking me whether some of the footage from the shows have been edited and all that kind of stuff. So we looked at Sapphire was the song and we saw that that it had been pitch corrected but I say that when we were looking at the video what I was looking at on screen were pitch lines that looked like they had been pitch corrected and there's one particular note that was absolutely flat to A440 standard pitch equal temperament and when I say flat I mean as in a flat line directly over the line of A440 440. So it just looked really weird, sounded weird, we could hear some processing going on. So what we're going to be doing in tonight's video is looking at some crowd shot footage from the same show. And I'm going to be explaining a few things about it because he did two shows and people have been sending me footage from I think the 6th and the 7th of July and some things don't quite match up with the video and people are confused as to what's going on but the great thing is that when i'm sent more data especially when it's crowd shot footage it means that what i've concluded from the first video we can either prove or disprove and that's what objective analysis videos of mine are all about getting to the bottom of what actually happened and what we were listening to now when I do an analysis video and I look at these pitch lines on screen, I've been doing it a very long time, about 10 years now, and we've looked at thousands of voices. And I think when I'm looking at a video, if it's pitch corrected, or at least if I think it's pitch corrected, if I can hear processing, then I will say that. So what I'm stating is based on my expertise, my experience of having done so many videos and looked at so many artists bands and some very well known artists and bands who would love to remove my videos but they know that what I'm saying is true so therefore they cannot remove the videos they have no grounds to remove them so given all of that even though I don't have crowd shot footage or audio from the show I've only got the official audio that's released I base my opinion, my conclusion on all of that experience that I've got from doing this. Anyway, we're going to be jumping into the end section of the song. And the reason that we're doing this is because here the voice overlaps. It's exactly the same vocal. But when the official video is released and it says live in Marseille, it doesn't say a date. Why doesn't it say a date? Because this is video and audio that has been cut up from the two shows that he did so and this is something that happens all the time when bands and artists do multiple dates at a particular place they say live in whatever the place was but it's like a frankenstein of audio and video so that some of the video in the background that we'll see won't match up because they've taken the video from the other night and they would have done that with some of the audio as well. But when the audio matches up, where you can hear it's perfectly in time, Ed's voice, we can then compare those tiny sections. And that's exactly what we're going to be doing. So we'll have a listen. I have synchronized them. So you'll hear when the voices um, just match up. So let's have a listen. In the party, I can do this all week. We'll be dancing till the morning. Go to baby, won't sleep. Tell me, tell me, tell me, kiss the tidy body. Sing on your body while you're pushing on me. Two in the party, I can do this all week. We'll be dancing till the morning. Go to baby, won't sleep. So now we've got this audio that's perfectly uh, matched up. And uh, we'll see here on the left hand side, the C sharp four is over the top of this line. And this is actually what I said in that first video that this part sounded like you know it's really accurate with those intervals and has probably just been nudged uh, closer to the line in this case over the top of the C sharp 4 but over here the C sharp 4 and this is crowd shot footage on the right hand side by the way so the live audio and links to these videos in the description below as always if you want to cross reference anything that I'm doing but you can see the pitch here is 
just slightly below the C-sharp 4. So for the official release, it just has been edged up there a little bit. And here, when we ascend here, we ascend and the official footage, we stop off at the D-sharp 4, but we're kind of almost between notes, but flat of the D-sharp 4 here. And we come up and we land quite short of the F4 and here is just slightly sharp of the F4. So that's been moved up quite a lot. Let's listen on. Yes, it's absolutely the same vocal going on. The, the timing is undeniably identical. So now... Exploding like fire. And now here we have a bit of disparity going on. We've got a G sharp 4 and a G4 here. So this happened at the same time, this note, when it came in, we're a semitone off. And what we can do is mute the actual audio, uh, uh, the crowd shot audio. Let's have a listen. Your face, your eyes exploding. And you can hear a lot of processing on that. So when we now listen to the actual voice, And that's why. So we hit the, we're slightly flat of the G4. So that's over a semitone off the note that Ed was kind of trying to hit. So that's why it's going to sound a lot more processed is because this has had to be moved over a semitone to get to its destination. And we'll just listen to that again. Eyes. Undeniable. Eyes. It's just been stuck up there. And now the actual voice. Yeah, you can clearly hear that disparity in pitch. So, again, because we've now got more data, we can we can hear that it's different between the official release and what was actually happening at the show. So, I mean, it's great because, again, it's proving what I'm saying in that first video, but having objective data uh, to cross-reference everything, especially from crowd shot footage, which never lies that there aren't, you know, hundreds of thousands of people recording things on their phone and then getting the audio from the video on their phone, importing it into Logic Pro or a digital audio workstation and now pitch correcting or pitch incorrecting singers' voices. People aren't doing that with their crowd shot footage and more often than not, the crowd shot footage is uploaded as soon as the person gets home or, you know, within a few hours of the show. So. It's so reliable and, and great data to work with. Like and here you can see sharp of the C sharp, oh no, the C4, and here C4 up to the C sharp 4. So a lot more strict with this separation in notes when here kind of sharp and then between notes. The sky. And I mean, we aren't getting that on the pitch monitoring software on the right hand side from the actual show, but the G sharp 4, I don't know whether we're going to be able to hear that from the actual show. I mean, that sounded pretty accurate. So, um, yeah, the, I mean, it might be the case that Ed, with that first note, realized that it was a semitone off, a little bit more than a semitone, and just edited it slightly to get a little bit closer the second time around. Your face, your eyes, exploding like fireworks in. And, and again, really good example here. D sharp four, if we're relating it over here. D sharp four, just flat of the note, but that's been placed over the top of the line. And here, C sharp four starts bang on the line and then just descends a little bit. And here, the actual voice was what sharp of the C sharp four. So yeah, it's just been moved down a little bit. And this is a really um, subtle edit, but it does show that they have kind of been in here quite a lot and, and moved a lot of stuff around. The and here, again, G sharp 4, you can hear the processing, but G sharp 4, we were just flat of, of that live. And here, again, this this 
F sharp, or no, the F4. Nah, you know, here we're pretty much bang on, and we start directly over the line, but here is clearly we're not starting over the line, and I think it's probably maintained a little bit flat as well. It's not that noticeable when you've got both vocals going on at the same time. The and and there we have it. That that's then the last kind of shout at the end for some reason. We've got a harmonic there, the G sharp five, so it's plotted it. But that was the last shout that was really accurate, and I think maybe on the right hand side, because it should be the G sharp four, it's an octave below this, but this is going to be ever so slightly below the line. Anyway, it's it's great to be able to hear these two vocals. It's the same vocal, but one is edited and one isn't edited. So being able to now say conclusively, it was conclusive in my opinion before anyway, given what we were looking at, but now we can conclusively say that the audio definitely wasn't the same on the night as we're hearing now being produced for the live in Marseille video. And, you know, everything that I said in that first video still stands about Ed Sheeran and him being a genuine artist and doing everything live. He's singing live. You, you can tell in the right hand side that he's not, you know, using auto tune or miming, lip syncing, all that kind of stuff. He's building up his loops. And actually, I don't know where the video is. I saw a video of him starting this song and... I said in the first video that when you're setting up loops, if you get one wrong, it's going to keep looping back incorrectly for three or four minutes. So you have to start again. And even Ed would have to start again. And in this very song, he does mess up the loop at the beginning and have to start again. Obviously, that's not shown in the left hand side official release. But I think it's great to see that kind of thing that, you know, everyone's human and, and even professionals mess things up. But the things that maybe get messed up always get cut out of videos so everyone thinks that the you know that these people they're watching are you know absolutely faultless they never make any mistakes all that kind of stuff and they're always nailing pitch with their vocals all the time but everyone's human and everyone can be sharp and flat and everyone can mess things up and have to start again that's all part of live music when somebody is genuinely performing live you will see and hear this kind of thing just quickly i found the video again that i was just referring to on youtube so let's just watch this Uh, he actually said there, and I no didn't notice that before, he said, that's how you know it's live, you know, because I messed up. I think he said messed up. But it is great to see that kind of thing. And because this synth sound is a designated loop of kind of the synth voices, this is why I think, yeah, it's probably going to be a click track that's going on. He's always got that. So it means that when they edit together the potentially the audio from you know one night and another night at least that tempo is going to be consistent but even when you're playing to a click track and the tempo is absolutely consistent throughout when you're talking about live performances sometimes you know ed will come in a little bit earlier with the vocal a little bit later or strum the guitar ever so slightly earlier than he did so you always get little clashes that happen so yeah that's another thing when you are playing live even to a click you will get variations so it is still its own live unique uh, experience that people are having but anyway thank you guys for sending me all of these files and videos from the 6th and the 7th it's great to get more data and again it just proves what I said in that first video but the, the data will always prove or disprove a theory but I think when we're looking at lines that are calibrated, pitch lines that are calibrated to A440, it's not really a theory because no voice has ever done that previously. And we've looked at thousands of voices and yeah, as soon as it happens, you'll, you'll be the first to know from me if there is a human voice that can be calibrated to A440 because it's never going to happen because 
we're using human vocal cords. It's not a tuned instrument. So, anyway, yeah. As always, let me know what you guys think in the comments section below. Keep those suggestions and requests for future videos coming. And if you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys at the next one. Rock!